Let's graph this linear equation into variables. Why don't we go ahead and find the x and y intercept? If we let x be 0, we'll have then the y intercept. And if we let y be 0, we'll find the x intercept. And then we'll find another ordered pair solution in just a moment. Now, if x is 0, notice this term, negative 3 times 0, is gone. And we can do this mentally. y must be negative 3. So we have the ordered pair solution, 0, negative 3. What if y is 0? Well, if y is 0, I have negative 3x is equal to negative 3. Negative 3x is equal to negative 3. Let's divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is negative 3. And I'll have that x is 1. So there are the intercepts. Let's go ahead and find one more point. What if we let y be, say, negative 2? If y is negative 2, now remember, we usually find a third point as a checkpoint. I'll have negative 3x, and then y is negative 2. So I'll write minus 2 is equal to negative 3. If we add 2 to both sides, I'll have negative 3x is equal to negative 1. Divide both sides by negative 3, and x is 1 third. Let's plot these three ordered pairs, and let's hope they all fall along the same line. 0, negative 3, that's 0 left or right, 3 down. 1, 0, 1 to the right. 0 up or down, and then 1 third negative 2. That's 1 third of a unit to the right, and then 2 units down. And can you see that indeed these all three do lie along the same straight line? The line through these points is the graph of our linear equation in two variables.